Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we got a service call for a packaged water source AC unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. So here's our AC unit. I see a red blinking light to start with. Let's see what that indicates. Okay, so right here it says fault indicator. So we have a blinking red light. So let's see, red flash, high pressure fault. See right there, we've got the flashing red. It's always good to look for any type of cover or any kind of information you can find on the unit. Typically they have it inside the control panel. This is right on the side, so high pressure. We have no caps on the refrigeration ports. This will be important to check pressures at this moment. All right, so we got the gauges on the unit. We have a standing pressure of 125 to 130 pounds this is a r22 system this is a water cooled system so it would be important to take note of the water temperature because that could definitely make it trip on high pressure even if the charge is okay all right so this is our condenser water inlet here's our strainer so you know that's the inlet here's the outlet both the valves are open. Okay. Hard to work in here. But this piece right here is our condenser coil. And instead of a fan, we have a cooling tower circulating water to reject heat. And that's how we cool the condenser. All the other ACs are over here are operating, so that's telling me that everything is okay with the cooling tower because everything else will be shut down on high pressure as well. So that's narrowing down the issue somewhere here. The board, there's no reset button. Maybe we could just kill the power and turn it back on. Just pulled out this disconnect. And let's turn it back on, see if we clear that. still have the red light all right so something really strange is going on you still see the red light there and I pulled out the disconnect I didn't even kill the power what is this thing hot wired or it's getting power for somebody else there's something really strange going on here so line voltage right here we got 208 and since I pulled that out we shouldn't have anything here one volt how is that how does that thing have power on the board let's put this back in check our load see if we got 208 we got 208 so this does turn on and off the unit but this thing is getting power from somewhere else right now so even when I pull this out we still have a, a light there saying that we have power there killing the power on and off should reset this okay so I spoke with the engineer they said they did try to clean the strainer that's what this buckets here with that rag they opened the water back up and they probably thought you know taking the power on and off would reset it but it's not resetting because something is hacked here it's a hack job and that's why I'm here because they couldn't reset this thing so let's let's look at this wiring because this is crazy All right I got 208 volts coming in here with this plugged in now I'm gonna unplug it right and we lost the voltage okay but we still got that red light flashing this thing is getting power from somewhere let's 
So R and C, this is our 24 volts. Okay, we got 24 volts with this thing unplugged. So we cannot even be energizing our transformer. So there's one wire here of, of the low side of the transformer it goes to ground. And this is our other line. The transformer here is not even connected, but we got 24 volts here. What is going on here? This is crazy. This unit, that transformer might have went bad and somebody might have ran some wires to another unit for their transformer. So if I kill power to maybe one of the other units, wherever these wires go, that might reset this. What is going on here? Gotta follow these wires. All right. So from here, we got a common running here, but we gotta follow this R. R. coming from this but this is the wet switch right let me see something what if I reset this wet switch okay I reset the wet switch we lost the light let's see reset Woo! well that worked we got a green light now Okay, got a green light now. Man, something really weird is going on, but we figured out how to reset it. We were still getting the 24 volts. All right, so now, okay, I got the power unplugged, the main power. Let's Let's plug that back in and, and see our pressures. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not gonna waste too much time to figure it out right now. Let's get this going. All right, compressor started. Let's watch our head pressure. Head pressure is not high. It might have had a dirty condenser, but when they came in there, they actually cleaned the strainer. They just couldn't reset it because there was something strange going on. This might be the service call right here. And look at that, our back pressure, that's gonna freeze. What I noticed is that the high pressure and the low pressure, they're in series. So that indication, it actually might've went off on low pressure possibly. So right now I'm, I'm 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 seeing low pressure not high just shut off it just shut off it must have tripped on low because we're at about 40 pounds r22 freezes at about 48 pounds i believe okay so what's strange is that we have a steady green light we don't have that indication anymore let's see what that indicates green on it's either normal mode or unoccupied so let's make sure the thermostat's calling what if it just went off on thermostat right now because the space is cool there's four air conditioners cooling off that space it could have easily you know satisfied all right so our and Y. Which one is Y? This one. 13 volts. Yeah, it looks like we might be held out by the thermostat now. If it went off on pressure, it would have we would have had some kind of indication here. Alright, so here is that thermostat. It says it controls three, four, and five. So what I did was reset this thermostat turned it on off then i put it back on cool and i dropped it on the lowest setting one thing i noticed is that behind here 
I, it was four stages of cooling on this thermostat. So that's how they do it. Typically, let's say you, it's 72 in the room. If you drop it to 70, one stage is gonna kick on. Drop it a couple, another two degrees, maybe the second stage is gonna come on. So I dropped it all the way down. So that should set each stage of cooling on. So all three of these units should be operating. All right, there we go. This unit is working. Our pressures are much better. I guess it started off low and came back to normal. We have a about a 62, 63 pound back pressure and just under 200 head pressure for a water cooled system. That's good. I just want to make sure this stays on for a little bit. So let's give this thing a few minutes, let it run about 15 to 30 minutes. That can run for that long. We know that was it. And you know, we can walk away without getting a call back. All right, we have a 53 degree supply air temperature. And this unit's been on for about half an hour. So that was a service call. There is quite the hack job here. And basically somehow they got three units working off one controller. And even though there's no transformer in here, it still has 24 volts. But I noticed right here it says transformer disconnected. So somebody's noticed this before. And I definitely sure did myself. It's something really strange going on here, but the main thing is that the pressures are good. The system got reset. It's been operating for half an hour. You know, I like to give it some time because I don't want this thing to run for like five, 10 minutes. Next thing you know, it shuts down. You're on your way home and you gotta come back. But this seems to be the service call. We just had to reset it after the guy cleaned the strainers because it probably did go off on high pressure. Then they couldn't reset it. So I reset it. And then for some reason, the thermostat was holding us out. We reset the thermostat and dropped it all the way down. So the last stage can kick on. This must be the last stage because this is the last AC down this line. And if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.